All right, so we're back once again under the hood of this uh, 2003 Sentra Spectrum. It's QR25DE for those of you who don't know. Other videos talking about the details and the build of the engine and some corrections and updates and whatnot. But um, what I'm dealing with right now is I thought that I broke the clutch while driving shifting between gears because I'm getting this loud rattly grinding sound and looking inside looking inside through um, the opening from here the clutch is intact and I can still start the engine and shut it off and start it again so we know the um the flywheel is intact and the clutch is there and it's spinning it's able to rotate i can even uh turn it manually with a screwdriver and it doesn't have any play between engagement or disengagement or whatever so <sighs> but you don't know that until you take it apart so i drop the transmission and um Take a look at the clutch. Um, it's been time to change the clutch out anyways. And uh, the throttle bearing and all that. And I've been leaking oil here. So this gives me an opportunity to uh, do the seals and stuff. And I need to do my brakes. These things, you can't resurface them. So a couple things to catch up on. Plus I'll get to paint the transmission and undercoat here and stuff. Make it look like the rest of the car. See most of this. I got videos from what I did and all that stuff. So I'll make, I'll do updates when I'm done with this and stuff. But what the problem is, is I think I have a broken output shaft or something of that nature. Okay, um, I have a few years' experience with mechanics. But what I do is, you know, I remind everybody that I'm a, I'm not just a certified painter. I'm actually a national award-winning automotive painter. And I do, obviously, I did this. I do a lot of custom stuff in high-end exotic cars. So when it comes to mechanics, I'm like a YouTube mechanic. But when it comes to paint, I'm, I'm a professional. So I really won't know what's going on until I drop the transmission. But I'm going to show you what happens when I turn when I turn the passenger side wheel it doesn't make the noise that I'm getting here so sounds like some splines might be stripped or something like that but I won't know until I drop it I'm just gonna do a little demo so I can upload this you guys can tell me what's going on I don't know if the audio will pick it up pick up audio from here but bear with me See if you can hear this. You hear that? I'm gonna put this here so you can hear it. You're not gonna be able to see what I'm doing, but at least you'll be able to hear something. You can hear that. Yeah, that's like a knocking sound. And it does that when I turn this. So, this is neutral. This is first. Second gear. This is third. It's third.
and it doesn't sound like it's coming from here. Sounds more like around here. Like right where it meets, right where the transmission is mated with the lock. It's kind of where it sounds like it's coming from. Maybe, maybe you have a broken, I can feel it like those ticks. I can feel the, the ticking sound. I can feel it in the rotation. So it's like tick, 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 tick. Like I can feel it. It feels like the splines that are interlocked are like stripped. But the funny thing is like I've never had problems or anything with this car. And I'm driving one day. I was, you know, just, it was a little friendly street race and I'm accelerating in first. And in the process of going from first to second, it just like went all out, just just grinding down. I didn't want to go into second. So it's not like it happened because I, dis I engaged into second really hard, like it never went in. Like it happened right before shifting out of first. It's, <laughs> See when I turn this and it's smooth, it's quiet. See? It's quiet and it's smooth. I hear that ticking stuff over here. I barely hear it. Let's see if you can hear it. Not you're not gonna really hear it like I'm hearing it here. But when I turn this one. It's awful. I hope this transmission isn't gone to shit. I mean, it's got a stage five clutch in it, so to replace a stage five clutch, that's what it's also gonna cost to find a used transmission. So, I don't know what it is. I don't know what's going on. like sounds like the differential sounds like the limited slip but these 6 p transmissions are stronger they're stronger than the sr20 transmission and they're stronger than um the transmission from the 1.6 like the 95 centra the engine that was, well, I think the QR25 replaced the SR20. And the SR20 replaced like a D16 or something. But I used, I, I've had a lot of new songs. I don't know. This is, I could use advice on this. I'm not a mechanic. Everything I did, I did it well. I knew what I was doing. I got everything tuned in here. Got everything working, working good and all this. So, and I'm almost done. All I gotta do is, I have my headliner here. I just wanna real poster it. You know, real poster the headliner and all these panels that go in here. Some of them are black and some of them are beige. I wanna paint the beige ones black. I wanna put a carpet in here. So it's not a lot, so it's almost done. I already had gotten brand new shift cables. You can see them right there. See, it's they're shiny and clean. I got both of them brand new. Already brand new turbo, brand new um, manifold gasket, the flange. We got a AC compressor bypass, brand new alternator, brand new um, timing chain, and the cam gears, brand new phaser gear, brand new coils. Actually, no, these aren't brand new, but I'm about to. But I'm gonna put the original style because I don't like these how this comes around like this it runs good it's really good for performance but I'm not too big on the look I like I want it to look cleaner 
So I'm looking for the original replacement ones, but performance ones. So I might have to get like some MSD ones for a different vehicle, but that are like plugged in for overhead, the overhead ignition coils. And they might pop up just a little bit higher, but it's probably gonna look more organized than that. But it's on its way, man. All this stuff, I wanna modify. I wanna modify the opening for the drain, that adapter. It's never gives anybody that much flow. And I want to make this shorter so it's got more of a drop. But we will leave this talk, this chit chat for another another video, another segment. But what I need help is for you guys to give me a heads up what's going on with this. I mean, I'm going to drop it. I'm going to follow through anyways because you know, I want to put this car back on the street. But leave your comments and let me know what's going on with this. Could leave some some opinions. Alright guys, thanks.